Hi folks, welcome back to Stacy Can Can. Today I'm making pink grapefruit marmalade. And this is courtesy of David Leibovitz's website. I'm probably butchering the name, but I got this recipe from him. He is a professional chef. Um, and I will say there is, um, a National Center for Home Food Preservation has a citrus marmalade. So I am using their instructions for preservation purposes, which is what he instructed on his website to do. So I strongly recommend checking that out. Those are the measurements or the, um, the temperatures and such that I'm going to be using for uh, this recipe um, because he doesn't use the, um, it's what he suggested. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, preserve them, his jams and marmalades. He puts them in the refrigerator and I like to put mine up. So you have the option of not preserving. Uh, that way, if you want to just stay it in the fridge, you can, or you can use the um, the citrus marmalade recipe um, measurements and time requirements, what have you, for uh, off the National Center for Home Food Preservation. So, why in the winter are we doing some uh, citrus canning? Well, partly because actually this is a great time of the year to do it. I get these giant bags of pink grapefruits from Costco, and they're really inexpensive to to purchase and my family loves them so we're just going to go ahead and give it a whirl now you might want to go ahead and get um grapefruits that are organic and it probably best because you do have to use the peels i am going to use some hot water um, and uh, boiling water and uh, pour it over the grapefruit skins because we do need to use the peels to uh, get a lot of the wax off and and that type of thing so kind of use your judgment there um as far as the chemicals, pesticides, and such that are used in con conventional uh, farming. Um, up to you on that, but uh, or you can save it and do it at a later date, whatever works for you. So this recipe for grapefruits, you do, do need the juice of one whole lemon. Now, I normally strongly recommend using um, um, bottled lemon juice for, uh, for a lot of the canning recipes, but because this is actually a full citrus, recipe um, there's gonna be enough acid in here for preserve per, for preservation purposes so for the correct ph that you need with as as you know the ph varies from from fruit to fruit so when you buy bottled it's got a, a consistent ph throughout so you know exactly how much of an acid you're adding so just keep that in mind i'm not i'm going to go ahead and use fresh lemon juice for this we need um five cups of water three and a half cups of sugar and that's pretty much it. Now the tools that you're gonna need, you know, you'll need your funnel. We're gonna need, um, you'll need a serrated knife. It's uh, really handy to use because we're gonna have to um, slice these grapefruits into really thin slices. So a serrated knife is, is preferred for that. Uh, you're gonna need your, you know, your ladle, your jar lifter, um, uh, lid lifter. Here's the ladle and your headspace tool. And we're also gonna need um, an, um, uh, a thermometer. So you can use, or you bring it to a rolling boil, but here's a few different types of thermometers that you can use. You can also have a plate to uh, check for, uh, for gel checking to making sure it's at the consistency that you want. Um, we're not using pectin. This is uh, where you get your pectin. Uh, our commercial pectins are actually got, we get them from the orange peels. Uh, for when they're making orange juice. So citrus peels actually have a lot of pectin in it and you'll find it, a lot of it in the pith. So we are gonna use some of the peels here with a lot of the pith in it because that's where you get the, the congealing. But you don't wanna use too much of it because it makes it bitter. So the sugar will help, help offset that. So um, we're gonna use a, the thermometer to double check to make sure that the temperature is up to where it needs to be before we start jarring it uh, versus putting it on a cold plate, stick it in the freezer, and then checking for a wrinkle test because that can take three to five minutes and I don't want to wait around because I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, so anywho, let's go ahead and get to canning. So we are using hot water to pour over the peeling of the grapefruit to get the wax off. Last, take a paper towel, dry your grapefruit, and this will also help wipe the wax off of the grapefruit. Now we'll go ahead and we're going to cut all the grapefruits in half. And I have a grapefruit spoon, so I'm just gently scooping out the, uh, I'm scooping out the 
pulp. We want to scoop out as much of the pulp as we can. Now the rest of the grapefruit, the other four halves, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we remove these seeds that they have in them. And, uh, and then we're going to cut these in half as well, like so. And you're just going to want to make sure that the seeds are removed, if you can see them here. Um, and then we're going to cut these in super thin slices, as thin as a coin, if you can. And the serrated knife does work really well for this. Be careful when you are, when you are uh, using, cutting the knife. The, the, the grapefruit gets really slippery, so just be really ca cautious as you cut it. You know, the intention is to get it as thin as a coin, but it's not, I didn't get it as thin as a coin, so do your best. And then you just put it off into a pot here. So I've covered the grapefruit slices like this with just, I've just covered it with water. That's all you need to do. Put it in a non-reactive pan like this, like a Dutch oven. We're gonna go ahead and add also just a pinch of salt to this whole thing, just a little bit. We will cover this and we'll bring it to a boil. So I have this at a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to simmer. We're gonna simmer for five minutes. Timer has gone off, so I'm going to give this a bit of a stir here and just checking things out. And I'm going to make sure that all the peels were almost completely translucent, but not quite. So I'm going to give it another, we're going to have it set here on the stove until it's translucent. Make sure to cover the pot. The grapefruit slices are translucent now. We're going to drain the water and the grapefruit slices from here. And we'll go ahead and put the slices back in the pot. I am adding five cups of water, three and a half cups of sugar, the grapefruit pulp that we had pulled out of the other grapefruits. I'm adding the juice of one lemon and now we're getting this up to a uh, medium high heat and we're going to get it to where it reduces and becomes kind of thick like syrup and the thermometer will read anywhere from 216 to 218 degrees or you know even up to 220. marmalade is done we're scooping it out we're filling the jars to a quarter of an inch headspace. Using the headspace tool. There we go. I'm going to use the lid water to clean the rims. Make sure they're good and clean as the jam marmalade is very sticky. Place it into the canner. I have the jars in the canner and once it comes up to a rolling boil we set the timer for just five minutes. Got a rolling boil so I've set the timer for five minutes. The timer has gone off so I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, turn the uh, turn the canner off and we'll let it set for five minutes before we take the lid off. We are done so we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off very carefully. Um, as the steam there will give you a facial you don't want. I'm also going to grab some tongs here, take the cover off. That is hot potato as well. And let's get our marmalade out. Wow. Look at Look at how pretty that is. That is grapefruit marmalade. Thank you so, ooh, got a seal. Thank you for joining me again today. And I had a, had a great time as usual. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, input, feedback, by all means, reach out to me. I'm on um, Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can at me on Instagram and uh, TikTok. 
uh, at Stacy Can Can. My website is www.stacycancan.com and my email is info at stacycancan.com. So thanks once again and um, I look forward to hearing about your canning journey and until next time, happy canning. <laughs>